when it comes to what god is doing and how that what he's doing is going to be expressed i think people see it from different perspectives you know i i see it as process and i see it as relationship and i don't see it as event so i'm not saying that there might be a vanishing point and people might just go on these experiences but that won't be enough for them to live in that way unless they come into that revelation and experience in their own life you know it's like you know things can happen to you but that doesn't mean that you can do that yourself you have to uh, come into that reality so that you can be able to do that so there may people you know if justin has seen that in the spirit and seen that congregations may just disappear go into heaven and do that stuff great but when those people come back how many of them will be able to do that on their own and that is the key of living a life where you learn to do this stuff by practice to develop the spiritual senses to enable you to do these things in that way so will there be a host a host of new giftings well i think there won't be new but they will maybe a a restoration of the things that god intended man to have the ability is to be clothed in glory the ability to walk uh, through things all of those sort of quantum realities of being able to trans relocate and transport and do things like that but they're just a restoration of what adam could have done in the beginning or what adam would have been able to do if he'd continued walking with god so, of course, there are levels of ascension that God wants to take us through. But I don't think that they will be corporate personally in that everyone in a corporate setting will suddenly be able to do all those things. I think maybe there will be corporate experiences which then will lead those people to pursue that in their own life and therefore be able to do those things themselves because they have developed that themselves. It's the same thing as the gifts of the spirit are the spirit giving you something so you can do something or you develop the spiritual ability to do that yourself and one is dependent on something given you and the other is something that expresses who you are and your own ability as a son of god to do those things so there may be manifestations of things that happen that point people to a lifestyle which is beyond their expectation so that then they can go and pursue that lifestyle themselves rather than it automatically just happening that they can do it in that way so i think um, we need to develop our personal relationship and our personal abilities by knowing who we are and knowing our identity any experience along the way which helps us and stimulates us or inspires us awesome but I do believe it comes down to each individual developing that their own selves. It's like years ago when people were going around doing conferences, laying hands on people, transferring the anointing. People thought that they were going to get some of the great prophet anointings because someone laid hands on them and prayed for them. And they may have experienced something and they may even temporarily have got an impartation of something. But in reality, it needs to go beyond that so it needs to go beyond receiving a gift to living a life then it's what we do our spirit is capable of doing everything that the holy spirit can give but we need to develop the discernment we need to develop those things and only do them when we see the father doing them out of the father's heart not just best because we can do them and there's a temptation if someone had all these great giftings given them that they would use them for fame and fortune and other things and i don't believe that is what god intends because the glory needs to go to god not us and i think there's a danger in when mad big manifestations happen that people begin to look at the person who's manifesting those things or the person organizing it and we go through the same cycle again and again and again and they'll be able to let you down and they'll fail you know so develop our own relationship develop our own gifting in that it's our gift not gift given to us and then that's developed and not just gifted and there's a difference between having a temporary thing ability to do something 
or something happened to you to you be able to live in the reality of that daily and that requires perseverance it requires practice it requires development it requires growth in both character as well as ability and i think the danger is when people who are immature are given great gifts they may not have the character to be able to handle those gifts and things can go astray which is why i think god is wanting us to develop those abilities along with the character of love that goes with it that enables us to practice those things in a loving way which does not draw attention to us but is actually all pointing back to god and for his glory if you enjoy these videos would you please take a moment to like comment and subscribe it really does help thank you very much